best buds it's Kathy with Kathy's Garden I love making everything that has to do with junk journals and if this is something you enjoy too please subscribe speaking of subscribers I have a 500 subscriber giveaway Woohoo! and a shout out to Sue, Lori, Christine, Gwivine, Mary, Mary Maybelline I'm sorry about that Maybelline Robin, Joyce, Mary Crafty 694 Michelle, Faithful Fawn, and Elsa. I appreciate each and every one of you. Well, you guys, yesterday I tried three times to do my video and the stream kept breaking. So, um, so anyway, I was having some bad issues there. So I was crafting, and this is what, um, I'm going to show you what I made yesterday during the three different times I was trying to get on, and then we will start doing what we're, we're going to do this today. So what I did was I took an envelope that was coffee dyed, and I put extra ink on it, and then I stamped it, and then I put a, like the third layer of the napkin on, so it's just a plain napkin. And these are the colors that I got. And you can tell the difference between the one that has the napkin on it and the one that doesn't. Isn't that interesting? How that, it just makes it richer and deeper. The camera's trying to focus. There we go. This one, I put a little bit of lace on. And I carried it over to the other side, and there's some lace right here as well. On this one, I think I might put this one in the journal, giveaway journal. I um, gessoed this, and then I sanded it, and I colored it, I stamped it, I inked it, I put some lace on it. Um, I did this on this side, and I also made a little tag to go inside that looks like this. Wow, that camera's really struggling, isn't it? There we go. And then, of course, the back is just like this. So, that's that one. Then, um, I'm going to show you that one last because that's what we're going to do today. This one is very similar to the first one I showed you. This has more green on it. I was thinking spring yesterday. Oh, and all was fine yesterday, uh, the other night with the storms, when I kept getting those notifications. Uh, it was fine, and I really appreciate all your um, prayers and, and um, thoughts about uh, being safe. This one, um, I used the second napkin, not the first one with the print, the second one, you know how it carries a little bit of that print, and then the third one's usually pretty clean. Well, you can see the print. It almost looks like water stains. That's the print from the second napkin. It was a napkin, and there were flowers that went up and down. And you can see the stem and the flower and the flower and the petals and the leaves. So I just put that on that. I was just playing yesterday when I couldn't get on. This is what we're going to make today. We're going to make something similar to this one. So let's get started. Oh, before we get started, I was going to show you yesterday when I played around and then I couldn't get on, I made some of these for my um, booth in town. They're, um, you know, I have a flower farm. I just thought you might enjoy seeing these. They're dried flowers and I wrap them in burlap and I make bouquets. And um, I sell them in my little booth here in town. And I have all different sizes, big, little, all different sizes. Okay, well, that was just some little fun thing. So these are envelopes in which I coffee dyed, and this one has some beet juice on it, beet dye as well. And this just paper that didn't get um, stained. That's not gesso. That's just paper that didn't get colored. Okay, so that's what they look like when, I, when we start. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to put some ink on here. So we're going to get our, um, our inks from uh, Tim Holtz. And um, 
let's definitely use the pink. I really like how the pink turns out. So um, let's put some ink down on our glass mat and then let's spray just a little bit of water on. Then we're just going to put the envelope in it. <laughs> Literally, we're just going to put the envelope in it and it picks up the color. Randomly picks up the color. There we go. Sop it up. Let's drag it along. Get the color here and there. Oh, something was scratchy in there. Okay. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? Let's do another one. Um, here it is. Whoops, lost it for a minute. Okay. Actually, I think I want a little bit more on the... Oh, I forgot to put the butter on it. <laughs> that just helps it. Um, lifts up the ink off of the glass and helps get it on there. Oh, yeah, that's much better. I like that better. A little better. A little more. Okay. So, um, actually, I'm going to put a little bit more on here. There we go. It's a beautiful day today. Sunny. It's a little chilly out there, but it's nice and sunny. I think it's supposed to rain again later, but not now. Not today. Later today, I'm going to go to the booth that I have in town and put the flower bunches that I made into it and um, then I'm going to go to the grocery store. It's time we have to get a few things. Okay, that looks, ooh, that one looks great. Look at the difference between that one and that one. They're all going to be different and unique. I'm going to clean this up. I'll be right back. All right, the next step is we're going to have to separate these napkins and I do know about the um, the tape. What I find with the tape though is that it rips my napkin and I really don't like to rip my napkin because I like to use all the layers. So go ahead and Get this off and I will be right back again. Okay, you guys, I have the napkin separated. It is absolutely a gorgeous napkin, isn't it? I love this napkin. This is the one that I used um, when I showed you. So, um, I don't know. Let's, um, I am going to use my scissors. Let's go ahead and just Maybe cut this one out. This one's a ruffled parrot tulip, I think. Okay, get this out of the way. And we're just going to cut around it haphazardly. Sorry, I felt a cough coming on, so I clicked out for a second. So, okay, so you're going to need a, a doily. Now, I chose to coffee dye my doily. You don't have to. And we're going to put this on mainly in the center of the doily. So we're going to get, I'm using the, it's from Master's Touch. <clears throat> And it's a, a matte gel, and I'm really liking this. I got this on the aisle 
of Hobby Lobby um, where the paintbrushes are uh, for artists, artist paintbrushes, not craft paintbrushes, but artist paintbrushes. And I'm just going to put some down on the center part of my doily and actually a little on the outer rim because this is a little bigger than than the center. In fact, it's going to come out just a little bit more here. Like that. Smooth it out. Then we're just going to, it's going to crease on me there. Oh, do you hear Ricky Lou? A little parakeet. <laughs> He's singing. All right, we've got that down. And it's just going to look just like this. That's pretty already, isn't it? And you're just going to let that dry. So I'm going to set that right over there. And I have another one that we can do. Let me wipe this up. I got it all cleaned up. Now let's see, which are we going to do now? Um, let's go ahead and cut out this bunch of I think it's a tulip. It's a, um, I'm trying to think of the exact type of tulip that that is. Peony, a peony tulip. Kind of looks like a rose when it opens up. It has lots of petals. And then this is a lilac, the lavender one. And so we're going to, I'm actually going to cut this petal out. It's so very light uh, and it's so very big. This is going to be way too big for here. So let's see, what do we want out of this? Uh, how about if we, um, let me think about this for just a second here. Okay, how about if we follow along with this tulip here? Maybe just do something like this and cut some more of this off. That'll be beautiful. Let's go ahead and put some of the matte gel down. You could use Mod Podge if you like, or you could use watered down white glue. You could use that. I just happened to pick this up the other day and I'm trying it out and I'm really liking it so I'm kind of sticking with it. See how it does in the projects that I'm using. If my second choice if I wasn't using this would be the um, the water and the, the the glue. Either you know white school glue or even um, Elmer's glue. So this is how this one looked. Beautiful, right? Oh my gosh, they're so sweet. I'm going to clean up, be right back. Okay guys, I had to take the heat gun to this just a little bit to get it dry. If you um, do it when it's wet, I mean you could, but you are in the risk of really kind of having your napkin fall apart. I think this one will be beautiful on this because it has so much of the pink um, the darker pink, like the lav, it turned lavender. Whereas this one isn't as lavendery; it's just kind of pink. So let's put this one on. So what I did was I just took my doily and I just kind of tried to see where I would like it on this side, on that side, in the middle. Where exactly? Do I think I might like that? I like these spots here. Mm. I think I like to do it this way. So let's open up our, our uh, matte gel again and kind of eyeballing where this is. 
and let's go ahead and put it down there we go yes and I went ahead and put some over the top because this edge of this doily mm, it's not real see how it doesn't sit real flat it's kind of curly and it's just not flat so you're going to have to have something to hold it down to make it flat so you're going to have to put some medium on top of it I'm just going to put a little bit more over the top like this now what are we going to do are we going to pull it around we're going to cut it off let me think for one minute minute here I think let's try this let's give it a try and see what happens we cut this here like this right where the flap folds down see the flap's going to fold down so this one's going to add I think we'll cut them off. I think I choose to cut them off and reposition them elsewhere possibly. I don't have to get super close. I can wait till it dries better and then really cut it. There. I will dry it with a uh, hair dryer so you could see so I'm going to set it right there for right now we're going to take this one and wipe this up I don't want our other napkin I mean our other envelope to get stuck onto the glass plate where are we going to put this one uh, let's see here This one's at the same top as the other one. Same sides. How about we put this one down here? I think that looks pretty. So let's get this on. That was a lot. <laughs> Okay, that was a lot. Um, I want it. Woo! <laughs> Woo! I'd like it like that. There we go. There we go. Let's see how that one's just really lifted up. Put some underneath it, and right on the doily will help. And you might have to go back and check it in a couple of moments just to make sure that it's going to stay down onto your envelope. It could pull up and then once it pulls up and dries then it's going to be kind of difficult to get it back down because it'll be hard having the whatever medium you chose to stick it on with. It'll have it on there and it'll make it stiff that's the word I'm looking for stiff let's cut these off and we will reposition these there we go and like I said you don't have to get it real close because you can come back and fix that that is fixable I'm loving that let me go and get cleaned up and get this dried and uh, I'll be right back. All right, you guys, they're not perfectly dry, but they're a lot drier than they were. So we can still, we can work with them now. I think that's really, really beautiful. And you see it folds down like this. And then when you turn it on the back, you have the hint of it right there. That's really nice. Now this one is like this and we fold it. We turn it over and it, 
has just a little touch of it. So let's go ahead and put put some uh, words on it. Let's get, I'm going to get my stamp here. Um, it's this one and it's uh, Fade Text Background Paper Crafts. And I think I bought it at Joann's. I think so. I'm not sure. I wouldn't swear to that. But I think that's where I bought it from. And let's go ahead and put a little bit of ink. I'm just going to do it lightly. Just boop. Just, just like that. Just a little bit of words on there. I'm not going to do a lot of words. I'm just going to do a little bit. Just like that. I like that. Now let's go ahead and do a little bit more on the back. I'm not even going to put ink on it, I don't think. We'll see how this turns out. Yes, I like that. <clears throat> now, whoopsie. I want to get that on there. Let us get our stamp for the um, for the stamp. A stamp for the stamp. I have my box of stamps here. Um, so let's look through here. Now I actually have these. You know when you get. Um, things in the mail and they want you to order flower bulbs or flowers. Um, I save these little tiny pictures because they make great stamps. I'm not sure. I think these might be a little too bright for what we're doing today. Pretty rose right there. I don't want to get my head in the picture. So I can't lean over too much. These are tiny, tiny ones. I don't think anything's going to work for us here. That one might. I think they're bright. I think they're too bright. Let's look at the real stamps and see what color that color might work. There's a purple. Oh yes. I think that's a young Queen Elizabeth. Who is that? No, it's not. Who is she? Yeah, it looks like it. Kind of looks like her. I don't know if it is or not. Let's move this out of the way. Let's get our lavender on there and see how we like that. My goodness, that's pretty, isn't it? That's very, very pretty. Let's go ahead and ink a little bit around the edge just to soften her a little bit because we're putting it on a coffee dyed envelope and looking for my a glue pad um, here we are there we are <laughs> glue and holes punched in it and everything I'm going to use the um, glue stick on here. I picked up an extra something off that paper or off the glue stick. Maybe it was off the glue stick. Alrighty, bring this back in and let's put her right here. Oh, I think she looks lovely right there. Now she already has some lines um, from where that ran through the post office. Let's go ahead and put the, the stamp that they use at the post office. And we're going to move some stuff out of the way. <laughs> there. Move some stuff out of the way. And we're going to a fumble finger today. Yes, that's going to be fine. I just didn't want it to be super duper dark. 
doesn't matter which way this is going. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. All right, let's put this back and let's go ahead and get a few more lines on there. Yes, I love that. That looks awesome. Put all this over here. And once again, we're getting everything everywhere. That looks fantastic. I think what I would like to do next is, um, I better put my lid on my glue, is ink around the edge of the and fumble fingers today around the envelope before I'm doing trying to do everything I feel that I'd like to do to it before I get that um, Modgy Podge matte material out again because then that's just going to make everything all wet and I don't want to really, you know, it's hard to work when it's all wet and yucky. I really can't work with it very well then. Anyway, I'm just putting it here and there and here and there. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm just falling in love with this. I think this is beautiful. Let's go ahead and put a little more ink. And I'm going like this to get the corners with a little more ink on it for a little more depth. I'll just go around. Just like that. And that was a gathered twigs that I used, Tim Holtz gathered twigs. I was going to wipe that up and then I thought, well, I guess I really don't need to. That is really looking nice. And everything's adhered very well on the edge. Okay, so do we want to think about, possibly, these are our pieces that one with that one. These are our pieces that came from this doily that we put on this envelope. Um, let's see. Do we want any of this on here? I think we do. I just don't know where we want it. That's rather nice right there. This might be nice just on the corner. That's kind of two, one, two, three. I don't think I like that one, two, three thing. But I do like it over there. So let's do our other envelope and then when we get the get to that stage on the other envelope, we'll do it all together. And where did the other envelope go? Hmm. Okay, guys, where did I put the other envelope? <laughs> I have to find the other envelope. I found it. It was right there. <laughs> it hadn't gone anywhere. <laughs> okay, so we got that down. Now we want to, oh, we need to put our stamp. That's what we're doing. We're putting our stamp. Um, so let's get our stamps out. That one's pretty with it. That one's a little oranger. This one's much brighter than this one.
that's pretty on there, isn't it? Alrighty, let's let's choose let's choose that. It says postage revenue. Right. Lay this no, put this right back in my box so I don't lose my stamps. And let's go ahead and put a little ink on here. Yes, I like that. And we're going to have to put a little glue down. That's a glob of glue. I'm not putting it right on the end. I'm giving it a little bit of space there. Just like that. Whoa, don't turn it. It needs to be straight. Alrighty. Now we're going to put our little circle stamp, which it already has a pretty good circle stamp on it, so maybe we just want lines. No, I think I want a circle. It's not quite the way I want it to look. Let's see what we can do about that. Yes, that's nice. I like that. Now, let's put this one on here. I'm going to turn it this way and just... Yes! Perfect! That's just perfect, guys. That's looking lovely. So now, what I would like to do is I would like to ink up around the edges a little more. Ooh, heavy around the corners. I am liking how that was turning out. Very, very nice. Now, where are we going to put the pieces of this one on here? We have a tiny, tiny piece we could actually put up here on the edge of the envelope, the flap. Put one over here. Let's see. I kind of like that. All right, let's go ahead and open up our You can open up your glue, whatever you're using to get these glued down on our envelope. Put a little bit there. Okay. We'll get it to stick down. It's not really wanting to stick really well. Don't want it to come up at all. Push it down with this. My finger would just get stuck. That worked nicely. There, now I gotta clean up right down here. I think I'm gonna use a wipe it. There, that's good. Okay, now I'm gonna put it right down here. I 
thinking I'm going to cut this off because it's truly a point. And I'm not sure how that's going to stick down very well being a point. So we'll just remove that that I think is going to be a problem to get it to stick. We'll just take that problem right away. I can come back after this is completely dried and either sand the edge or cut it if we need to. Yes. Add a little pucker in that to get all the puckers out. Alrighty. That's going to be truly beautiful. Yes, it is. That camera is really working at it today, isn't it? Now let's go ahead. Sorry for the reach. Back this up so I don't want to get glued down. And we decided to put this one right here because it already has some on the flap. So let's go ahead and put our medium down. Very nice. That's going to be beautiful. So here is this side. And here is this side of the other one. So I'm going to hold it so you can see it. I love it. And then here's the front side. Oh, you guys, I have had great fun. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye now.